Hello everyone, welcome back for another video. In this video, we're going to talk about import of different protocol sequences from one scatter to another. So let's say I have a friend of mine which modified a very good protocol for me and then he sent it to me and I use it, but how come I not get the same images as him? So I want to address an important key point today. So with that said, stick around and I will show you. For those who knew, my name is Bagni and I'm an MRI radar offer. In my channel, I'm covering things from basic to advanced MRI topics, tutorials just like this one. If you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. Like I said at the beginning of the video, there are a lot of import export protocols, which is good. But whenever you get a protocol, just keep in mind, how did your colleague or friend run the scan? What kind of scan? What kind of coils? So I, I want to show you a few of those examples which I've seen before and uh, let's go and I will show you all right so let's just want to show you an easy one on knee this is from a 3T Zima scanner so import of protocols they were using 18 channel transmit receive coil like this one it's a very good coil it's a dedicated one and you get a Sagittal PD that's up like that extremely good and then my friend of mine sent this protocol to me and then I only have this coil Ultraflex, which is very good for different parts of the body. But then you have to modify it a little bit, right? Because it's you have to wrap it around, try to, to fit it to the knee. It's not a dedicated one, but it's working great. And then I get images like this. And I don't understand why. Why did my colleague not get images like this? But I did. So he was running with the, uh, the deep learning, deep resolve. And you can see that I was also doing that. But however, I got some strange artifact there. So what happens here is that his protocol is tailored to that specific coil. So when he sent it to me, it's important to know what kind of setup he did. And did it import correctly or did some error occur and so on and so on. And did some changes because of the different scanners. And then you are able to modify it because whenever you modify it, you can be able to get a good images as well. But then you need to know what kind of coil you're using. So you can see here that it's it's turned out great, but it cost around 20 seconds more because I need to have a little bit more phase or something due to this coin. And it gave me a little bit more SNR, but nonetheless, it's possible, but sometimes you need to modify it. I have another example right here. So this one is two brain scans. It's actually a scan of my brain, my own brain. I just want to test it out to show you guys. So if you look at these two images, this looks more likely the same, right? But if you take a further look into here, you can see that in the peripheral zone, it's it's much more signal on these images right here. So what did my friend do? He, he sent me this protocol. I was running it, but I didn't get the same quality. So he was using then a pediatric 16 channel and then a 20 head neck. So in this coil is meant for pediatric up to 18 months. So it's a very dedicated coil. And it does fit me and I will show you how. And nonetheless, it's important that knowing specifically coil what he was using now, this was done on 1.5 tesla i did this in 2000 and, and uh, was it 18 yeah it's a long time ago but nonetheless it still fits right right here so i was just testing out a 1.5 tesla you can see on the 16 channel and 20 there's more noise on the 20 in the same sequence same parameters and uh, it's very interesting because the head here is much more closely to the coil so it provides more sonar and uh, my last example is this one. My friend get the very good larynx images right here. Send it to me and I get images like this. Did I do anything wrong or did he just send me a crap protocol? No, he did send me a good one, but he was using Ultraflex small combined with the spine. So you get a very good signal all around. However, I was using only a special call, a special purpose call in the front. So you can see I have a signal here, but I'm losing a lot of signal in behind. Again, knowing what they did, it's very, very important. And it doesn't matter if you only have a good protocol, but you need to know how to use it. But well, that's it, guys. I hope you find this video valuable. Nonetheless, I just want to make this short video just to address how important it is because there's a lot of import export going on, which is very good. Sharing is caring. However, knowing what your friend or your colleague did at his side is very, very important. Before we close up, I do have a question for you. Have uh, this ever occurred to you before you get a good protocol, but then whenever you run it on your own scanner, it gets not as good as what you've seen before. 
If so, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, do not forget to push the like button, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell and get a ding ding whenever new videos for me are coming up. Until next time, have a happy summer holiday and enjoy the summer. Take care and I'll see you around. Peace out.